Hi Cancer, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm going to do a Celticross reading for you using the Gilded Tarot deck. This is for November 2017. And then with the Hanson Roberts Tarot deck, I'm going to get extra messages for you. And then I'm going to pull two cards from the Ascended Masters Oracle cards. And this is for overall advice for you for November 2017. I've already shuffled and cut the cards, Cancer, so let's get started. For you, I have the Devil. For the Energy Crossing you, I have the Eight of Cups. Basis of the Situation, I have the King of Swords. Immediate Past, I have the Ace of Swords. Crowning Thoughts, I have the Ace of Wands. What's coming in the future, I have the Three of Wands. For how you see yourself, I have the Knight of Pentacles. For your environment or how others see you, I have the Two of Cups. For what you really want, I have the Knight of Swords. For your outcome card, you have the Ten of Cups. For additional outcome card, I have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so let's get started here with you. I have the Devil card. And... The only thing I'm feeling with the devil card is that you're having a lot of uh, passionate, positive exchanges with your loved one. And with the Eight of Cups, it feels like some of you have just recently broken up with someone. And it feels like um, whoever you're with, they caught you. I don't want to say cheating, but they caught you talking with someone else. And so some of them took it the wrong way and they broke up with you immediately. So with this Eight of Cups, this feels separate from the Devil card. With the King of Swords as the basis of the situation, this feels like the person that caught you. For those of you that just uh, broke up with someone, this person caught you. Um, they took it the wrong way and they broke up with you. And with the Ace of Swords, it feels like some of you were messing around with someone in your neighborhood. And I think this person's uh, car or bike or something was in your yard. And when your um, boyfriend had, had, uh, had passed by at some point, and then he was texting you to find out what you were doing. And you said you were just at the house, you know, washing dishes or something and um, he didn't believe you because he saw that car or that bike in front of your house so there's like two or three things going two or three stories going on here that have to do with uh, relationships so with the ace of swords I'm feeling that for some of you um, you were messing around with someone uh, close by um, even though you had a, a boyfriend or girlfriend at the time okay so that's in the past so right now with the current, so right now with the crowning thoughts, I have the Ace of Wands. And it feels like some of you have a new lover. And you're very excited right now because everything's going really swell between the two of you. For others of you, I feel like you're some type of uh, manager or, and or project designer. And it's up to you to design something for the upcoming season. And everybody looks forward to your everybody looks forward to your designs. So whatever it is that you concoct for this month, it's going to be well received. For what's coming in the immediate future, I have the three of wands. Some of you are waiting to hear back on approval for a class or some course that you want to take. And it feels like it's a technical course or an engineering course. And so you're hopeful that you are going to get good news. And for some of you, I do see, um, I do see that you are going to get approved for this course or class. And it feels like um, it involves a scholarship to where you won't have to pay for um, the majority of it. Okay. For how you see yourself, I have the Knight of Pentacles. It feels like some of you are waiting for someone to say yes to you as far as starting a relationship or as far as uh, starting to date 
It feels like some of you have, have asked this person out a couple months ago and they keep telling you that they're really busy and they are super busy. They are interested in you, but they just haven't had time to stop and call you and say, okay, let's go out or when can we go out? And it feels like uh, work is keeping them busy. And for some of them, they have children, so that's keeping them real busy too. Um, but it's not you. It's not that they're not interested in you. They are interested in you. They just haven't had time to set aside for you. So it feels like you need to hang in there and uh, send communication to this person still on a regular basis so that they know that you're thinking about them and that you haven't given up on them, okay, if you want to do that. So for your environment or how others see you, I have the Two of Cups. For some of you, there's somebody that's super infatuated with you. They think you're awesomely handsome or beautiful. And they're looking forward to building a long-lasting, long-term relationship with you. So this person is very, very uh, into you. And you can tell that they're into you a lot because they communicate with you almost every day. And you like talking to them. You like communicating, even if it's just email or text. You appreciate that they're that they're reaching out to you and you can really tell that this person likes you a lot in the position of what you really want I have the Knight of Swords and some of you are waiting to hear back on a loan to buy a house on a mortgage loan to buy a house and so you're expecting they've told you that you're supposed to get the news in November so you're expecting this news and you're hoping that it gets here near the beginning of November rather than near the ending because you really want to move out of whatever place that is that you're uh, living at right now. And it feels like you're living with a partner and children. For your outcome card, I have the Ten of Cups. And so for some of you, you are going to be moving into a new house, much bigger house, and it feels like there's a, some kind of fruit tree, at least one fruit tree on this property. And you do have a pet as well that you're going to be taking with you, moving with you to that house. And so you're very excited because you're able to start moving into this house in November. For others of you, it feels like you've just gotten married recently or you're going to get married in November. And I can see that you have a new condo or townhome or something that you and your partner just got. And so you've never lived with anyone before. You've never lived with a, a partner before. This is your first time and you just got married. So you're super, super nervous. Um, but you're looking forward to moving in, you know, with this person. But it kind of feels like maybe in the future, it feels like you're expecting there to be some kind of... Um, habits that are going to be difficult to break on your end and on that person's end and so it feels like this house you specified that uh you're going to have separate bedrooms okay so that whenever you all need your own space and privacy you have it from each other um, also because you each have your own hobbies that's another reason you need your own bedrooms as well and there is an office in this house. There's a study in this house. And so you're going to have your exercise equipment, yours and his, or yours and hers, in this uh, study. And then in your separate bedrooms is where you're going to have your other hobby stuff and your actual bed. Uh, but it feels very positive. It feels like you're going to be very happy in this new house and with your, your uh, new husband or new wife. For the surrounding outcome cards, I have the Eight of Wands and I have the Knight of Wands. And this just feels like moving, big moving uh, cards. And what I'm feeling and seeing is a big uh, trailer full of your furniture, okay, and items and maybe your, even your vehicle. So for some of you, you're moving across the country to uh, move into this house. And for some of you, it feels like it's in Florida and in Texas, okay. Uh, very sunny, very sunny, warm places. And it feels like you have a pool and some of you have a hot tub. And so that's another reason that you really like this house and you're looking forward to moving into this, this place. For others of you, what I'm feeling from this Knight of Wands is that there's a male that's interested in you and he's very aggressive 
He could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Very aggressive, very physical. Sometimes he's kind of blunt. He just rushes in and, and says things without thinking. And so it feels like you, it feels like you're more calm and quiet. And it feels like I'm talking to a, a female. It feels like possibly you're a um, water sign. I keep seeing Pisces in my head. Um, and so you feel like, okay, I really like this person and I want to get to know them better and uh, form a good, you know, long-term relationship if it does work out between the two of us. But I think I'm going to have to work on his on his uh, tact because sometimes he says things that embarrass you <laughs> to your parents or to your cousins or something. He'll say something and it'll embarrass you. And it feels like in the future, you're going to tell him when y'all are alone, you're going to say, okay, if I tap you on your knee or if I tap you on your shoulder, that's code for stop what you're doing because you're, you're um, embarrassing me or you're saying something the wrong way and this person's going to take it the wrong way. So it feels like that's going to happen in the, in the future after several instances of him putting his foot in his mouth or being too aggressive uh, with other people or too tactless with other people. I'm going to pull some cards from the Hanson Roberts tarot deck and this is for extra messages for you. So I have the Ten of Cups again, and I have the Nine of Cups, which is really awesome. And I have the World card. Wow. And the Emperor. For some of you, what I'm feeling with the Emperor is there's an older man that's very interested in you. I feel like I'm talking to a male around 35 years old or 40. Anyway, this older male, he's very wealthy. He has uh, one or two sports cars, and he wants to date you, and he wants to... Uh, show you how much he cares about you and it's up to you to decide if you're going to be open enough to um you know go out with him a few times to see if you like him normally you don't go out with people this much older than you it feels like he's 10 years or more older than you okay but because you think he has a good head on his shoulders you're going to give it a try i think you're going to give it a try and see how it works out okay that's separate from these other three cards with the ten of cups i'm feeling again you're moving into a new house for some of you you won a house somehow you won a house or you're going to get um, if you're in a drawing right now for a house they're going to notify people in november and you're going to win this house okay i don't know what where this house is but you may have twins um and y'all are going to move into this new house with the nine of cups this is the wish card. So if there's something that you've been wishing for, a lot of you are going to get that wish granted in November. So for some of you, it's some kind of plastic surgery you're going to have done um, on your face, cosmetic surgery on your face. And for others of you, there's some uh, jewelry that you've been wanting. It's it's uh, cost hundreds of dollars, if not over a thousand and you're going to receive it as a gift in November. So you're very excited about that. For others of you, this is just uh, saying that something is going to make you very, very happy in November. You're going to get uh, a wish or more granted to you that you've been hoping for, praying for, wanting. You're going to get it in November. So that's awesome to see along with this Ten of Cups card. And then with the World card, what I'm feeling is that some of you are going to win a trip so have you entered into any sweepstakes recently that one of the prizes is a trip because this is not the grand prize okay it's one of the smaller prizes but you're going to win it so that's awesome for some of you you're going to take the cash instead of the trip because something's going to happen at work where you're not going to be able to take time off so you're going to take the cash instead. And if I feel like I'm talking to a man. Your wife's going to be so happy with you because you're going to split this cash with her 50-50. <laughs> okay. So let me pull a card for you from the Ascended Masters Oracle cards. And this is for overall advice for you for November, Cancer. So what I have is persistence. And I feel like I'm talking to an entrepreneur right now but let me read this to you 
Through persistent action and positive thinking, your dreams are manifesting into form. This is a time for you to stay persistent. Give any discouragement to Lou and the angels who will buoy your faith and give you signs of your progress. You're almost there, so keep going. It may help to break large projects into smaller steps so that you'll feel the thrill of accomplishment with each step that you take. Persistence pays off. Stick with it. I don't know why, but I'm seeing some of you building a boat, a big boat. Additional meanings for this card. Overcome procrastination tendencies and take action today. Stick to your priorities and promises. Chip away at your dreams and desires with daily action steps. Stay positive and visualize your dreams as already manifested. Commit to your dreams for the long haul. Okay, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I look forward to seeing you in December. If you would like to enter for a chance to win a free reading with me, all you have to do is go to my website and click on the Enter Here tab. Make sure to watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign videos to see which resonates with you the most. I appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you so much. This is Petra at IndigoTarot.club.